This is called Longfellow's Rain, and it's from uh, Third Place Notes in Nature. Yes, I like the rain, always have. I like the way I am completely aware of the here and now when I'm outside, blinking away the dripping wet from my face. One time, just east of Fisera, Spain, my son and I walked all morning and afternoon in a steady downpour. We were drenched and walked along muddy trails for miles. Some paths ran through trees and it wasn't all that bad. And sometimes we found refuge, like under the overhang of a medieval church, another time in a pub where we played foosball and had drinks. We had no plans, weren't going anywhere except farther east on our way back from the end of the earth. And anyway, we knew already that eventually, that evening when we changed, our clothes would dry. No big deal. When I was a child, I went for bike rides on Saturday afternoons after it rained. A streak of puddle wet would whip up my back. And while it was slightly irritating if a pebble took flight with the water, it was also visceral, absolute. The rain drowned out any sense of shadows from earlier or later, allowed only the present to persist. Sometimes my face was so wet my skin softened. It was raining. And I'm aware of how much I can feel it on my skin when I think about how my father no longer can. My father and so many friends we've lost by now, some not far from here. Or how my friends so far away might be inside working, looking outside, glad they are not out in the rain. I picture the times when I had to go find my way through a small village and it was raining and I didn't mind at all. It is reassuring when I remember those times. It makes me realize no matter what, I will always be fine, always be okay. If I can be completely at peace while walking in the rain, why would I ever let anything else bother me? Another time in Spain, Michael and I walked up along a road in the rain and an elderly man was standing in his doorway and asked us to come inside. He made us coffee and gave us some bread, and we sat inside quite a while, grateful for the break, more grateful for talking to someone new. The rain often brings people together, sometimes in doorways, sometimes in sandwich shops, and sometimes on gra grassy paths in some third place. It seems more and more we are less aware of the here and now, but weather keeps us in the moment. It's a subtle reminder that nature is in control. The wilderness will win eventually. And I love standing back to watch it all. I love the way I can still feel the rain on my face or the sun pressing on my neck on a July afternoon or the snow and a cool wind coming down from the north in November when being outside takes more presence of mind. April Rain Song by Langston Hughes. Let the rain kiss you. Let the rain beat upon your head with silver liquid drops. Let the rain sing you a lullaby. The rain makes still pools on the sidewalk. The rain makes running pools in the gutter. The rain plays a little sleep song on our roof at night. And I love the rain. 